Next to me I have a 2002 Ford E350 15 passenger van with the Triton V10. But this isn't any old 15 passenger van because this one came from the Colorado Correctional Facilities. This was used to transport prison inmates. Now that might sound a little sketchy, but that means it comes with the Quigley conversion. That adds drive to the front axles, meaning this is a four-wheel drive van suitable for off-road use. Now this van belongs to Luke from Eco OHV, and he uses it to give tours around the Red River Gorge and Slade, Kentucky areas. This is his party bus that he used to take people out and show them around. I was lucky enough to go with him, so I've got some good footage of this. So let's check out that footage while I tell you some more about the van. Luke has been visiting the area around Slade and the Red River Gorge since the 80s. As a result, he knows the area well. Several times a year, he organizes group rides which cater to everyone, from beginners with stock vehicles to experts with their heavy modifications. He has used the 15 passenger capacity of the van to take out groups of tourists to see the beautiful parts of Kentucky that you can't get to in your average car. On the day I rode along, we were leading a group that included a brand new JL Wrangler Rubicon and a 200 series Land Cruiser. The Quickly modifications provide a four wheel drive system with manual shifted four high and four low and manual locking hubs. The addition of the Dana 60 solid front axle as well as the spaces in the rear give the van an additional four inches of ride height. Quigley's relationship with Ford allows the vehicles to keep their factory warranty on all Ford parts despite the heavy modifications. This obviously isn't a concern on a 2002 model, so there have been some additional modifications since this ride to help with the off-road ability. In the back, there is now a lock-right locker, which allows torque to go to the wheel with the most traction. This helps if a wheel is lifted or loses its grip in the mud since it stops the wheel from spinning freely. At the front, they've added a heavy-duty worn winch in a custom-built cradle. This allows for self-recovery or the recovery of other vehicles on the ride. Even with all the rain, the van performed without any issues. The size on the trails is noticeable. It tends to pick up branches in the roof rack, but it's worth it so you can ride with 14 of your closest friends. Now I just need to find about 11 more. For more information or to join one of the rides yourself, go to eco-ohv.com or search for Eco OHV on Facebook.